Elo Biker TV. What's good, everybody? I'm Danny, and this is Danny D'Lo Biker TV. 3-1% National Motorcycle Clubs have called a truce. They have finally decided that Unity is the best options. And I gotta say, man, my hats is off to you guys. Much respect to you brothers out there that are doing the right thing. And we're gonna talk more about that right after this. Welcome to Danny D'Lo Biker TV, where we keep it one. Danny D'Lo Biker TV is sponsored by Eagle Lights, Tab Performance, Shark Road Exhaust, Diablo Threads, and Sounds. Covering everything motorcycle related from MC Light to installs. What's good everybody? Once again, I'm Danny. This is Danny D'Lo Biker TV. We're talking about the Thunder Guards MC. We're talking about Outcast MC. And we're talking about Sin City MC. Both are three big, huge, powerful 1% motorcycle clubs that are mainly in the black MC set. Now, I'm not gonna sit here in front and come on here and act like I know anything about the black MC set. But I do, do know that two of them clubs definitely ain't just all black. But nevertheless, these brothers stood on stage. They did a big party together. They made a national thing out of it, showing everybody unity, man. Listen to what this brother had to say right here. That's how it's supposed to be. We ride bikes, we outlaws, but at the end of the day, we still brothers. You know, brothers on iron. Hey, this Bishop, Jersey, TG, it's a beautiful thing, man, when brothers can come together, put our differences aside. The beef has been squashed. We good. We riding, we partying, we getting money. That's what we doing. It, it's so powerful to see these three organizations together. I mean, it's, it's um, words almost can't even express it, man. You know, and, and it just, it saddens me that more MCs out here aren't doing this right now. It's 2024, y'all. It's time to put the guns down, put the bats down, put the BS down, and let's just ride our motorcycles, man, and be brothers. I can't tell you how many homies I've talked to and all different 1% clubs and they've all said the same thing that I'm about to tell you right now. You put us all in the same room together with no colors on, not showing any tattoos or affiliations. We would all get along. We would all party together and have a great time. And you want to know why? Because we're all the same people, man. We're all alpha males. We're all bikers at the end of the day. And we all like to just enjoy each other's company, like-minded individuals, ride our motorcycles and have a good time. But for some reason, you put a set of colors on, all of a sudden, the vibe changes. The attitude changes. Everybody want to act a fool. Now, I've done a couple of videos, if you guys remember, of me preaching unity. I've preached it many times, man. I preached it where I'm like, you know what? I'm not saying everybody can hold hands and sing Kumbaya like these three organizations did. But we can be united. We can coexist. We can call a peace and actually stand by it. And when I've said, uh, I don't know how many times I've preached this and said exactly what this brother right here has to say. Sometimes you got the older generations, where it was coming from. We got new cats in, and we supposed to take that same thing and run with it. Nah, we got new leaders now. We got new new tops. They said we doing something different. And like my man said, Chuck said, if you don't go by it, you out. If you think you're gonna come in here and, you know, chaos, do whatever, you out or you're gonna get fucked up. Too easy, flat out. It don't get no more simple than that. If you act out of pocket, you disrespect a member of another club, and you want to act like a hard ass, you gone. You're going to get beat up, and you out. You out bad. Nobody's talking to you no more. 
that's the way it should be, man. Come on, brothers. Seriously, man. I mean, I'm preaching to y'all from my heart, man. As a former one percenter of a national big four organization, many of you already know who I am. Many of you want to know who I am, but I'll never put that out there. <laughs> I know. It, it makes me laugh that Google automatic, automatically suggests what club Danny Delo was in when you look up Danny Delo. It's, it's hilarious to me. That's how many of you have asked that question. That's, that's millions and millions, by the way. That's not just a couple hundred people. Um, I just, you know, look, man. I got brothers in many 1% motorcycle clubs, all right? And we ain't gonna get into names. And you're all the same people, bro. The same individuals, man. You got the same heart for this game. You got the same mentality. You got the same passion. Why are we fighting out here, man? Seriously, why? It's stupid, man. It's 2024, man. Ain't we tired of burying each other? Aren't we tired of burying our brothers? Crying, that pain. Ain't we tired of fighting? Ain't we tired of rolling down the neighborhoods and ro rolling down the road and having to look over our shoulders and watch our mirrors all the time? Ain't we tired of that, man? Ain't we tired of the police brutality? The police harass me because of the stigma we carry by fighting each other all the time? Aren't we tired of that, man? Aren't we tired of wasting our lives being punk-ass teenagers at this point? Fighting each other over colors, man? Over territory that none of y'all own? I mean, seriously, bro. Aren't we tired of that, man? It's dumb. It's 2024, man. These three organizations, these brothers are the gold standard of 2024, in my opinion. I don't know why all of you ain't trying to follow these brothers right here. I don't care if you're in a white MC, a brown MC, or a white MC, black MC. I don't care, man, whatever. Whatever club you in. Start talking to your main dudes, man. Start talking to your national bosses. Sit down and say, man, look at these three organizations right here, man. They was just going at it not long ago. Sight on scene, man. Red light, green light. Let's get it. And now look at them, man. They finally figured out that it was way more fun to be had. You know what I mean? Without all the war and BS. Nobody ain't got to worry about going to jail for some bullshit. Ain't nobody got to worry about getting shot or even worse, killed over some straight bullshit. Because of territory and colors that nobody owns. Come on, man. Let's keep it 100. Aren't you tired of it, brothers? You got to be tired of it, man. I know I was. Still am sick of it man it's really kind of become high school bullshit time to grow up y'all time to move on man let's ride these motorcycles and have fun bro let's stop the bullshit stop the bs just cut it out man for real it, it's it's gotten way out of hand man and you know what all these news sites they don't help nothing and the sad part is, is the media is always all over 1% motorcycle clubs being in one spot at one time. But notice that they're not really covering this event. It's only private entities on YouTube. Like the biker news guys. That yes, I still despise. But speaking of biker news, Black Dragon was spotted at this event. And I just think it's cool to see that brother that he's not just sitting in a studio talking. He's actually out there, boots on the ground, socializing. 
I'm sure selling some merch too. You know him. <laughs> but he's actually there, man. And here's what he had to say right here. Having fun together. They've been at each other's clubhouses. They've been doing the damn thing. And they have promised us. They made us a promise today that they are with this. They mean this. What they're going to be doing is having a, a peace, an everlasting peace. They said anybody in their nation that's not with it can get on. They mean it. And what this is going to mean to the black community of bikers on the black biker set is prosperity. Because where there is peace, there's prosperity. We, we, we don't have to worry about our events getting torn up. We don't have to worry about uh, all the things that we weren't worried about. When you're at a party, they show up and we leave. We're not going to have to worry about all that. So, I mean, all that being said, man, just like Dragon said, just like everybody said in this video, man, unity, man, that's the only way to go for 2024. Let's stop the BS, y'all. This goes for all of you. Stop it. Stop killing each other. Stop beating each other. Stop fighting with each other, man. Let's ride our motorcycles and enjoy our lives and go back to the way it was supposed to be. Being a biker. Out here riding together and having a good time. You're not going to get along with everybody, man. It is what it is, y'all. But that don't mean we got to go to war with each other. And like the one brother said in there, man. Chuck, I believe. Shout out to you, sir. Much respect from Outcast. Like he said, man, the people involved are the people who know. The rest of y'all are just outsiders, bro. Mind your business. Don't worry about what's going on over there. And like my other man said, if you start some shit with one of these guys, you out. You're going to get beat up and you thrown out, man. We ain't got time for you. Ain't nobody got time for that bullshit. That's the most powerful thing I've heard, man, and I hope they all stick by that. I truly do. Because that's what's always broke every truce that's ever been made between every big 1% motorcycle club. They make a truce, they sit down, they talk it out, they figure it out, everything's all good. And then some knucklehead goes out to the bar one night, gets out of pocket with another homie from another, another club, another MC, and now everybody's back to war again. Now everybody's shooting each other. Now everybody's stabbing each other. Now everybody's fighting and being dumb again. Like they always, they don't even last a whole month because of some stupid ass knucklehead that you backed up. So next time one of you guys get out of pocket, next time one of your brothers gets out of pocket with another MC that you in truce with, beat his ass and throw him out, man. You don't need him around there. He's nothing but trouble. He don't understand the bigger picture. He don't get it. He watched Sons of Anarchy and thought that's what this life's about. It's not. It's never been about that. Yes, back in the day in the 90s, there were some crazy things going on. Still crazy things going on now, but ain't we tired of that? Come on, man, we gotta be tired of that by now, y'all. So I'm going to end this video with a big shout out to Lavish. Um, I don't think I got the okay, but I did let, let him know on his video that I was going to use a couple of his shots and out of his videos. Uh, much love and respect to Lavish for having his boots on the ground, covering that event. Um, you know, thankfully, I was able to grab a couple shots out of his video to use to show you guys. And really, at the end of the day, this ain't about taking somebody else's cred or nothing. This is about putting out this positive message that these three clubs are putting out there, getting it out there as much as we can for not just for other clubs to see, but for the world to see that, hey man, we people. And some of us are starting to get smart and catch on to the real world here. So big shout out to Lavish. I'm putting a link to his video, his, his uh, original video, the long version. The link will be in the description. You can head over to his channel, watch that video. Make sure you like and subscribe this video to help his algorithm. Give him some subscribers, man. Uh, much love and respect for you for doing your interviews and stuff. You did an awesome job, by the way. As always, much respect to my homie, Black Dragon. 
for having his boots on the ground, putting his two cents in, and being involved in the movement. And um, first and foremost, much, much, much love and respect and loyalty and honor to the Outcast Motorcycle Club, Sin City Motorcycle Club, and the Thunder Guards Motorcycle Club. Much respect to you brothers out there for being the gold standard of 2024, man. That's what I'm gonna call y'all. Y'all the gold standards out here. You, you setting the examples out here for everybody. Much love and respect to you brothers, man. Be safe, have fun, and enjoy that unity, all right? So until the next episode, you already know the drill. Keep it real and keep it on it. I'll let y'all. Peace. One on